Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. We got one more day of November and this is my 152nd floss tube. I had to look. We have our November cup one more time and next week we'll start our Christmas cup. Oh my goodness, what a week. What a week. We had Thanksgiving, we had stay at home for four days. I felt like I had been home like a month, but for some reason, I don't know, it felt like Thursday was Sunday, so I was not home another four days, and then I got to go to work, and now here we are. Yeah, it wasn't a very busy, I mean, busy week, I mean, as far as stitching. I only did three reviews, and I had three starts, so, yeah, it was all pretty consistent, and it didn't feel rushed or anything like that, so that's always good. <sighs> yeah, today it's about eight degrees out there. I mean, it's like 20-something, but it feels like 8 because there's like a slight breeze and we were supposed to get all this snow. So I wake up and I go, okay. Yeah, okay. And I opened up the door and there was enough snow to cover the ground. Because I'm sure the wind had blown, you know, that kind of cold snow that doesn't... It's not wet and heavy like the Midwest. Yeah, so it's only going to be like 30. I don't even think it's going to be to 30. And with the wind chill, because the wind will be blowing off and on all day long, I think it might get up to like 14. And by the time I leave tonight at work, it should feel like zero. So, yeah, something to look forward to. And then it'll be 43 degrees tomorrow go figure and, and, and the sun will be shining so whatever snow happened will be totally gone but we'll just deal with it today so yeah and keep your water running because heaven knows you know stuff does happen so we'll start with what I started how's that so I know it's a crinkly bag and I should have taken it out of there I'm sorry as possible. Let me put the other part on the ground. So I started this nativity picture and where's my paper? I got it from DIY Shoes and I really like it as you can see. Yeah. It's a terrible picture but it looks better on camera. So I worked over here a little bit and I'll explain that in a minute and then I tried to do their faces and I had to take out one small part because it was like totally the wrong color so I've been working on the black and I was working on the black and I had out two full strands of black to take with me when we went you know Thanksgiving and I was sitting in the van while we were driving and I ran out of black so I started that green on the way so I got that little part done then I kept working on just trying to get all the black done I'm losing my piece of paper hang on hold that thought then I went to the center as you know, it, get over here. And here's his face, and I had that wrong orange in, so I replaced it with this lighter color that it's supposed to be. So, yeah, just been kind of here, there, and everywhere, as you can see. Just working on that center section and then I get tired of that and I go back to doing the black so yeah it's coming along 
I really like it. It's kind of like that cat with the fish. I like the way it stitches. Does that make any kind of sense? Yeah, it's insane. Okay, let me just drop that on the floor. Then, not then, but also this week, I started this, and I have to look on my paper. It was from DP Clubs, part two. So this, is it upside down? No, nope, it's sideways. All right. So I just got, this was confetti riddled. But I got all the way across here, and then I was like, oh man, I need a break. Yeah, that was something else. I don't know why it was so difficult to stitch, but yeah. And I'm going to have to run an iron over this, or just lay down the, put my rocks down, but I haven't done that. So, the back of it still needs to be ironed, pretty much just kind of wrinkly in weird places but yeah so it's beginning to look like trees over there and I started at the top so that I could come across and work on I'm trying not to have glare that house there so that's my goal is to get to the house so that's all I have done on that I didn't have much time to do anything else there then I started, this was from Fan Cells. Let me see if I can find the paper. The paper, it, it's really thin. It gets wrinkled really fast. But isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. And it's big, but it's not super humongous. You know, like the koi and everything else. So I've been working on it. Hang on, I'm trying. So, just worked on this. I'm trying to get a hold of it. So we worked on this, on the video, and then I came down here and started working on those trees that I said I really wanted to work on. So, yeah. I got three different colors in that. So that's coming along, and it goes, like, probably to right in here somewhere. So, just a little bit at a time. I really like it. I, yeah. So I stitch on it a little bit. I didn't do any stitching last night. Just all this stress over the stupid snow. I know that's dumb, but, oh, yeah, we're going to get three to five inches. Yeah, right. It's not like we're getting snowed in, but some days I just let it all get to me. So, fun times. Fun, fun times. Now that was all the starts that I had. Now we also worked on, I call this the Christmas room. And pretty. Another pretty DIY. Just love it. Just absolutely love it. I, yeah. And it's not very big. It's a 40 by 50. Does seem like it's smaller than that. I mean, the actual picture is smaller than that. But I'm trying. So I worked a little bit on getting this Christmas tree done. It's starting to show up. It looks better in camera than it does in person, but those blue spots are symbols. I still have to stitch that. So that tree ought to be just too much fun, but we'll keep working on it in December. So, yeah, I didn't get as much as I'd like to have gotten done. But you it it kind of reminds me of something that I don't know, like a bowl of cream of wheat. It starts out really thick and then you add milk to it. It gets thinner and thinner and thinner. Well, this is like, the more I stitch on it, the more green that I realize I have to stitch on it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll get tired of stitching on the tree and then I'll work on that background. 
Now, I did a little bit on New Orleans, which looks like this. I know. My, my patterns go through such hell, even when they're in the bag. They just get all wrinkled up. So, we started working on... Hold that thought. I got a needle right there. Let me fold it back. So, I got part of that building done. So, it's starting to look like a building. You know, you can start to see the, the windows right through there. But, we started on the... I'll show you. Hang on. On this... Well, awning that green awning so yeah and it's going to need three or four different shades of green to get that all accomplished plus a little yellow so that's all I got done on New Orleans this week hang on there is a needle attaching itself and that guys is all that I worked on I mostly concentrated on uh, the nativity one because I really like that black so I could just kind of go here 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 you know it was something that would make it look like it's accomplished. But I tried to work on their faces and stuff and yeah. But that guys is everything that that I've worked on. I know it's not too much. And I want to address something because I know y'all are like freaking out. Uh we had the drawing. I think it got I think it was in October. Well, my life started going to hell in October and November, totally, the whole month of November. <coughs> so, I have not mailed one thing from the last or the one before extravaganza. Nothing at all. I will try to get it out this month. I've just been so behind because of this water heater, having to put it in, and then, then all this stuff that's going to transpire it's a lot of money and I have not had any extra money so I just wanted to address the fact that I have not mailed out any thing from those and I am truly deeply sorry but that's just the way life has dealt me in the past two months and hopefully I will get turned around and we probably will never ever have another extravaganza because Something has always come up, so I'm just going to stop doing them for a while. But I will get these out as soon as I possibly can get the money to do it. And I appreciate each and every one of you hanging in there and watching my channel and you know subscribing and everything. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and for liking, watching, or sending me gifts. It is greatly appreciated all the way around. I just wanted to address that because I feel so bad that I couldn't get all that out and then everything just like the bottom fell out of my world when I decided to put in a water heater. You know, it's like, it's devastating to me. It, it's, you know, the whole thing. The, from not being able to mail anything out to the fact that I need a water heater. You know, I can't keep going to my daughter's house to, you know, take a shower and all that and everything that it entails, so I just want to say I'm truly, deeply sorry. <laughs> Other than that, guys, hopefully December and January on will be much better, so I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.